All right, welcome back to Trimble Tech, where I show you cool applications and help you fix stuff on your Mac and get stuff done, help you be more productive. So today I thought we would take a look at Mac Whisper, and this is an awesome tool for transcription. So I thought I'd download it and show you what it is all about. So go to, uh, just search Mac Whisper and go to goodsnews.gumroad.com and you'll find the application. It's got 1,542 ratings and um, it's got a free option which lets you transcript a lot of uh, audio and video which is really awesome. So it, I am, I've been using it, been testing it out. You can use this to work with Zooms, Teams, WebEx automatically. It's all done on device, no data leaves your machine. So if you, you don't have to use the cloud stuff, right? You can use this and it's going to export subtitles in the SRT format and metal and GPU support. And it's fast, right? It works great on an M1, it works great on an M4. It's definitely scalable, so you can automatically remove the ums and the ers, and that's totally me, totally me. But uh, again, let's go ahead and take a look at it and show you how it works. All right, so I've just extracted the application, 50 megs. Drag it to the applications, and let's uh, go ahead and uh, take a look at it. Mac Whisper. I think they should call it Careless Whisper, like uh, George Michael. Yep, continue. Yep, looks good. And uh, skip all that. Let me just uh, sign in. I'll be right back. And then once you... Uh, sign in, you're going to be taking to the model, which one do you want to use? I'm going to go with the uh, large turbo. Um, it is 1.6, but it is, uh, it's pretty good, but not quite as good as the V2, but I think we'll be good. I've had pretty good success and I'm saving hard disk space, which is uh, you know, something of a luxury. So I'll come back when this is done. All right, and as always, if you ever want to, you know, change your model, you can always download it at a future time. But let's go ahead and click on close and just show you some of the magic. So as you see, I am in the open files and I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to a video that I just recorded so you can see it in action. And my video is going to be on my external Final Cut Pro. And let's do the uh, fixed Docker on the... Mac tutorial video, link in the show notes. All right, so let's go ahead and start out the transcription. And I can see this was what, a, a nine minute video. So you can see it's, it's faster than real time. And it's pretty accurate. Uh, let's see, this is what I said. Welcome back to Trimble Tech. So this is pretty meta. But, uh, I, oh yeah, here's, oh my goodness, that's a great part in the video. Be sure to watch. Mm -hmm. All right, and then, uh, yeah, as you can see, look, look, there's the video of me in the video. That's so cool. Yeah. All right, and it, yeah, so 47 seconds, nine minute video works great. And then, okay, what do you want to do next with your uh, file? Well. You got the options, right? You can uh, show this in segments, and you know maybe you got a, a teleprompter. You want to give this to somebody that might make sense for you, or you got multiple speakers. You can change that as well. Increase the font size, uh, show sentences. So it'll it does a pretty good job of uh, separation. So there's one big segment. I'm not sure what that's all together, but. Uh, um, you can clean up, you can combine stuff if you'd like as well. And that's that option. And this is the AI. So if you wanted to um, use your own AI, you could totally uh, hook in the GPT, hook in the Claude, hook in the Gemini, which is pretty cool as well. Uh, let's see what else do I want to show you. Uh, the uh, transcript, but we're not going to do any AI stuff right now. And again, you can do translation from one language to another. That's pretty slick as well. Information about what's going on. It does the 
works, you can save the audio, you can copy it. And then when it comes to sharing, let's see that, uh, yeah, this is looks like it's the uh, export button. So I like to do, um, I think I like to do, yeah, the segments with the timestamps. Yeah, that way, you know, it's really good for uh, YouTube videos and uh, being able to make some chapter titles based off of the uh, description that is inside of here. And you can just export it, you know, where you'd like. You got a couple of options. Again, we got text, we got subtitles, we got segments. All good there. We've got some type of doat extension. Not sure what that is, but uh, here you go. I'm going to go back to the finder and uh, see if I can show you what the output looks like. Let's go here and we'll go to our uh, transcripts. Again, we'll go here and then tutorials and then spacebar and then boom, look at that. Uh, pretty cool. I think what I wanted to show you was the uh, was the segments as well. Let me see. Oh, that's right. Show timestamps. Yep, that looks good. And I believe everything else is looking uh, pretty good. So export preview, text file, export text. Let's call it uh, number two here. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing my seconds, but I, I assure you that it does work. It does work. Let's see. Show speaker name, show time. Let me turn that off and back on. There we go. Back on. And then export. Maybe, uh, let me see. Is it segments? Maybe it's segments. Let me try that. Call this number three. Save. Open. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to show you. Look at those great timestamps. Make it super easy for us. All right, so that is the little whisper tutorial. Again, you can configure this to do a lot more, right, than what I'm showing you. I'm going to go ahead and close it. And if you want any other, if you want a part two with more uh, details, let me know in the chat. I'll be glad to show that. All right, everybody, thanks for watching Triple Tech. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. Really helps the algorithm. All right, peace.